We already have our first beta update of iOS 17 after the official release. That is our iOS 17.1 beta 1 update. Hey guys, welcome to Technical Beardo here. Today in this video, we will talk about what are the new features or update regarding iOS 17.1 beta 1 on my iPhone 12. So guys, talking about the update here. So guys, first of all, remember this update is available only to the developer beta testers. And if you are on a public beta, wait for two days, okay? You will have it. And now talking about the update size was around 6.5 GB on my iPhone 12. Don't worry, it will not consume entire 6.5 GB on your iPhone storage, just a OS overwriting. Okay, and now talking about the update here. And guys, also your iOS 17.1 beta 1 was released along with your iPad OS 17.1 beta 1, your Mac OS 14.1, Watch OS 10.1, and your TV OS 17.1. But guys remember, regarding the watch OS, there is a new update, a very interesting update. There is an interesting feature of watch OS 10.1. That is, now we can name drop between the Apple Watch and the iPhone, just like two iPhones of iOS 17. And now talking about the build number, if you go to settings, in settings, go to general and tap on about. And here if you see the new build number is 21B5045H. So there are a lot of betas can be expected in this update. So now talking about what are the new features, the actual new features in iOS 17.1 beta 1 update. First of all, I will talk which I really liked the feature is your iPhone lock screen extended wallpaper. So if you see earlier after installing iOS 17, whenever you try to update or set a new wallpaper on iPhone lock screen, that time the top part was getting blurred automatically because here your iPhone are trying to extend the wallpaper to match the that gap right so that time the top part was getting blurred and was not looking good but here in the new update after iOS 17.1 beta 1 update here there is an option to choose whether you want to extend the wallpaper that is blur the top part or not so as per your choice you can blur the top part or not you can choose it under the option okay when you're trying to customize the wallpaper at the bottom side there are three dots okay once you tap on that there is an option to extend wallpaper. So whenever there is a blur part, that time automatically that option is ticked marked and you can just disable that to remove the blur part. Secondly, I will talk about airdrop. Go to your settings, go to general and open airdrop. And here if you see, now you see a new option called use cellular data. So basically as per our knowledge for airdrop, we need two phones at a very close proximity or a close range, right? But now the transfer can happen over internet through Apple servers. So even if a one device is far away or moved far, that time also the transfer can work, transfer can continue over the internet. That option is available here, okay? So choose accordingly about your data on your iPhone. So now the airdrop transfer can be happening over a mobile data or a cellular data with the new feature, okay? That's the second one. The third thing I will talk about your Apple Music. So now whenever you open your Apple Music, there whenever you're playing a music, after you listen it, if you like it, now there is a new button or option to mark as a favorite. The star option and that music will be added to your favorite list in your Apple Music. Very easy, very interesting. Also, if you see all the devices which have your dynamic island feature like your 14 Pro or about devices, all these devices, whenever you enable flashlight, okay, the flashlight indicator will be reflecting or showing on your dynamic island, stating that it is enabled or turned on. The last thing I will talk about that, that is regarding your ringtones or tones. So as we know that in iOS 17, Apple added few new ringtones to your iPhones, right? But if you see after 17.1 beta 1 update, those all the ringtones has been removed from your devices. They might be added in future but now they are removed from your iPhone after this update. So guys, that's it about iOS 17.1 beta 1 update. Okay, few features are covered. If there are any more features, surely we'll make another video. Stay tuned. If you like this video, then please give a like and please subscribe for more such videos regarding iPhone tips and tricks, iOS update and iOS solution. Until then, thank you very much. Bye bye. Take care. See you in the next video.